Hey everybody, J&A Review, and today we are on the road and we are at A&L RV Sales here in Sevierville, Tennessee. We like to give a special thanks to them for allowing us on their lot and do a few of these videos. Now today we're kind of, I don't know, this kind of special. We're doing a 2024 Axis and it's by Thor Motor Coach. Now let's get started. The model number is a 24.1. Length is 25 feet, eight inches, and I'll let Amanda just take over and tell you all about it. Well, I will tell you right up front, we don't know very much about this, so please don't send us any ugly comments. We saw it, we thought it was cute, and we wanted to show it to you because we've never done one of these on our channel. Now, would you say this is a Class A or Class Um. Well, it's on a Ford chassis. It's on a Ford um, 350, 550, 450, 450, 450 uh, E450 chassis. Um, well, I don't consider this a Class C. Uh, maybe a really, really small A. A, yeah. Um, but it's it's just super cute. Now we can't get to all of the storage over this side just because of the way it's parked. But you do have a little bit of storage there, and you'll see that you've got some compartments under this slide. Um, but we are right against a light pole, <laughs> so we, we, we're not going to be able to show you all of that. But this is a sharp little... Very, very cute. Uh, I can't reach that one. No, we can't get to that. You do have an outside shower right here. Um, you do have a tandem, act. I mean a dual, dual, it's like a dually. What is that? <laughs> yeah, one of those. Yeah. You've got really good storage back here at the back. It's, it's got a generator. Um, there you go. Yeah, you got to be... Looks like a 4,000. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah, generator. Really nice. 4,000 watt generator. Uh, this is a gas burner, so it's not a diesel. Um, let me see if we can back on up, show you the back of it here. That's yes. the same storage, but this yes, is Yes, it's so open big. all the way across there. Do have a hitch down here for towing. Uh, it says 8,000 pounds. Yeah. So use your own judgment on that. Got a ladder to get up to the back and um, not sure if the camera is already in place or if it's prepped, but you can have a camera. This is gonna be the other side of that really nice pass-through storage and it does have lights in here. This is going to be on your campsite. You do have some storage down here. A couple of electrical outlets there. This does have frameless windows. Not sure of this awning length, but considering this whole unit is only 20, 25 feet long, so this is gonna be at least a 19 inch, a 19 foot awning, and it's gonna have the armless uh, system on it, so. We have seen a few awesome. of these at campsites where we've traveled. So. Right. But we're, we weren't nosy and asked them if we could look through yeah. it. So. And then you've got another little storage cubby right up here. All right. Well, we're excited to go in and show you this. Again, we are not experts on these. And we don't work for the dealership. But we just wanted to show you something that was available that you and might be interested in. we've never put on the channel. So Right. So quick look around in here and I guess we're going to start up here at Let's the front right this has a massive windshield this is huge it does have a motorized shade up here at the front so that is just super super cool uh, as we said it's on a Ford chassis um, you've got a cup holder for your driver these are really nice comfortable looking seats um, all your controls you have a monitor there and a workstation so when you're driving and you're lost i can sit here and hopefully find yeah where we need to but go. these these side windows here and they slide open so they are just huge and huge. there's um i got uh, power and a cup holder over here so and, and these seats will swivel around they will swivel and you'll see that there is a uh, well you're hung on the you're you're got to put the oh i gotta put the the arm down yes how many people does it take to operate an rv <laughs> a lot apparently 
Um, but it, you can see that you can put a table right here. We'll, we'll show you where that little round table is. It's not a very big step up to get into your um, cockpit area there. I guess that's what you would call it. This is cool. It is cool. It is just, I mean, this is just so cute. It's not, it's not your huge class A diesel pusher, but you know, it gives you some room. Now there is a bunk up here. Now we are not, uh, we're not, we don't have the keys, so we can't crank it up and we're not attached to power. Um, but it does have a bunk there that drops down. And it looks like 250 pounds. So yes, you could put a- Ladder, that's ladder. Yeah, well, there's your bed, 250 pounds yeah. for bed too. So. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. But if they don't want to sleep up there, you have a sofa right here. That is a trifold sofa. Trifold. And so it will make into additional sleeping area storage up there right above that now there is you'll see that there's two two holes here um you do have two poles for a uh, table and that and table is... stores back here behind yeah. your sofa so it's out of the way when you don't need it <coughs> now i'm going to sit on the sofa <laughs> because your tv is going to be mounted up above the door and moving into you're going to have a little a little small kitchen area it's not just it's not huge, but we hey, it will work. Little extend here on the side. Mm-hmm. Round sink. Um, you do have an extension faucet there. Storage up above that. This is a. An, an, oh, it is a two burner. Two burner. I, I almost expected an induction, mm -hmm. but you have a two burner cooktop, and hey. yeah, storage there. Drawers. More drawers and another drawer. Yep. And this is a convection microwave. So yes. And let's see. Before we move down the hall, you've got a power outlet there, wireless charging. And on this side, you're going to have a cup holder. Uh, here is your AC unit. You do have a 12 volt compressor fridge in this. Your fuse panel is going to be right below that. Now this is where we may have to get a little creative to show you everything, but you have a couple of drawers here in your hall. Now this and is a mirror. And closet area. Yes, closet got hanging. Uh, you'll see there's your collapsible ladder. And now this is your round table that goes up between your uh, front seats and there's all your legs for your uh, tables. Now. Do we want to show the back before we show the bathroom? Yeah, let's go okay. back here. Uh, so, oh my goodness. So you can configure this however you uh, want. If you like the twin setup, you can do that. Uh, or you'll see that you have these. Um, this, you can look, you got cup holders. Or you can flip that bottom one over and put that in and have a giant king size bed back here. Uh, uh, you can see them. Uh, yeah. You do have a couple drawers right down there. Okay all the way around and the top. Let's see if I can open all these up right um, here. That one and that one. Yeah, this reminds me of our bus that we used to have. Yes. <laughs> so, so you have to take turns on them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And you've got a great big exhaust fan back here. And I'm going to sneak in right behind you. Let's see, there's some power outlet up there. And on this wall, you've got some little cubbies. Your phone will actually sit down in here, uh, USB for charging. It is gonna have an accordion door here for pri uh, privacy. Let me turn around this way. On this wall, you've already got your TV in place, uh, your light switch and your control for your fan. Mm -hmm. So yeah, super nice. And windows all the way around back and you here. you got a little shade. Yes, now. Um, okay, getting into the bathroom. Now I'm going to show you down the hall. You'll see that you have these two doors. So I'm going to give him the camera. I'm going to open one door and it will go back and has a magnet that holds that one in place. Okay, so let me go on in or... We're going to do a little dance here. We're going to do a little dance. And see how we're going to do this. This one opens up to that catch. Yes, and yeah. so... So that gives you all of this area here in the middle that makes your bathroom. Oh, but here. Much, much bigger. But we're going to see. But now. Hey. <laughs> 
Now, this is not a very big motor no, home. No. But uh, a head height is actually not bad. Let me see here. Um, well, you can make it work. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, I believe I can make that work. So you, I mean, not a huge shower, but hey, it, it, it can work. <coughs> now, right here, you got a little medicine cabinet that is that is mirrored, and you've got some more storage right up there. So you could probably roll your towels and put them up there. Uh, your foot flush toilet is here and really not that bad uh, leg room. Oh, cool. Yeah, especially when you get these doors open up like that. Got a little one up there. A little bit of storage underneath your sink. Now I'm going to tell you something. This is about right side for me to get, to do a trip out west or something. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so when it closes, you see you have your little catch right up there. So the doors will close up. So if you're just looking for a smaller motorized vehicle, motorized RV, hmm, check it out. And when this slide comes in, I'm going to say the bed's probably going to be at about right here. Yes. Because it's not a very deep slide. So you will still be able to access your yeah, bathroom you and the refrigerator. Yes. All right, everybody. If you like this little access uh, four motor coach, uh, I guess it'd be a little small class A. Um, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. And also, a big thanks to A&L RV Sales for allowing us on their lot today. Thanks, everybody.